today the topic of discussion is a sparse matrix sparse matrix is one of the very important question generally asked in interviews and you must be aware of this topic and this is quite confusing topic in data structure so what we'll study in this video is that uh, what is the sparse matrix that is introduction of sparse matrix and representation how that sparse matrix is representation okay so let's start with sparse matrix where first we'll discuss the de definition so the definition says a matrix if i talk about a matrix simple matrix a matrix can be defined as a two dimensional array a matrix is a two dimensional array obviously when you have created a matrix matrix is a two dimensional array suppose 2 cross 5 this is two dimensional array array having two rows and five columns fine so a matrix can be defined as a two dimensional array having m columns and n rows so if i put m n then m columns and n rows representing m cross n matrix so this represent m cross n matrix now what is a sparse matrix sparse matrix are those matrix that have majority of their element equal to zero so a matrix which has majority of element zero that is if suppose there are uh, if i'm saying that uh, it's a 5 cross 4 matrix that is total 20 elements are there and out of 20 15 elements are 0 then this matrix will be said as sparse matrix so in in other words the sparse matrix can be defined as a matrix that has greater number of 0 elements than non zero so if there are both zero and non zero elements so zero element are greater than non zero elements so let's see why do we need to use sparse matrix instead of simple matrix so what is the reason behind using sparse matrix so actually there are basically two advantage one is the storage and one is computing so i'll not read it i'll simply explain so if a matrix is sparse matrix and we know that sparse matrix has maximum number of zero elements so storing zero will be a waste of waste of memory so in the sparse matrix will store only non-zero element so in that case our memory will use less memory no because we are storing only non-zero elements and computing time because we have to access only the non-zero element so in that case computing time will also be less so these are two major factors of sparse matrix so these are actually the two major major factors of a sparse matrix which i would like to tell you so i i i am expecting that you will read the entire uh, passage and you will understand what I, I was trying to tell you let's move further then sparse matrix representation how to represent a sparse matrix so sparse sparse matrix can be represented by two ways one is array and one through linked list so you can represent a sparse matrix by two methods one is by using array representation or using linked list representation so let's start with array representation so first we'll discuss with array representation so while using array we use three factors one is row one is column and one is value so we use three factors you might be confused what is value so i'll just tell you if suppose you have a matrix and here you have a non-zero element zero zero five and zero and zero 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 and three uh, and one zero zero and uh, suppose two so this is zero one two and this is zero one two three uh, okay let me make it zero and let me make it uh, zero now this is entirely zero so what is the row row will point the uh, row having non-zero element so this is having non-zero element this will be a row element this is row this will point uh, because this row is having non-zero element and will this i'll point this row no because every element of this row is zero so i'll not use this row and what is column column will be pointing to the column having non-zero element is this having non-zero element no i'll not point it is this having non-zero no is this having non-zero yes is this having non-zero yes so see read this in an index it is an index of row where a non-zero element is located so when, whenever non-zero element is located you will point uh, uh, that row it is an index to a column where non-zero element is located that will be a column and what is value the value of non-zero element is located at the matrix is, is located at that index so that is row column suppose if i am saying this this is the value and what is the row column the zero row and second column if i say this this is one row and third column fine so this is the value so we use three three things to represent in uh, array that is row column and value uh, if you see the diagram you have a diagram where the diagram shows you the sparse matrix because maximum element you can see is zero and this is a uh, five cross four matrix five five rows and four uh, columns are there now if you see 
I want to store this matrix. I want to store only non-zero element. So I'll make a table. So I'm making a table. So this table contains three parts: row, which I've discussed, row, column, and value. Row, column, and value. So you see this in zero row is there any non-zero element yes in zero row one column so zero row one column the value is four in zero row do we have any other yes zero row third column five value zero row third column five value so similarly we'll store other values so this is the tabular uh, representation where we are storing only the non-zero values fine okay now comes the next part now comes the next part that is linked list so here you have a linked list in linked list now in linked list representation, we use four factors. Row, row is the index which have non-zero element. Column is the index which have non-zero element. Value is the same value which we are talking about that is at which row and which column. And you know what is linked list. Linked list contain always address of next node. If I tell you what is linked list, you have seen that linked list is a node having one data part, a single linked list and one address of another node. Fine. Then data part, then address of another node. So this was single linked list. But if I talk about doubly linked list, it has three parts parts one data one address of previous node and one address of next node but if i talk about this matrix where matrix is used to represent sparse matrix then we use we use four fields then we use net four fields so here in linked list representation linked list data structure is used to represent the sparse matrix in linked in linked list representation each node contains four fields now a node contain four fields so in order to represent the sparse matrix using linked list we have a node node has four parts four part one will be row one will be column one will be one will be row one will be column one will be value and one will be address of next node fine so let's see see the diagram here you have a matrix which is a sparse matrix which is four cross four matrix now if i see do we have any element non-zero element at zero row yes uh, at a uh, second column the element is one so let's see see the diagram at zero row second column the value is one and we keep the address of next node so again at zero row uh, third column zero row third column the value is two the value is two and we keep the address of next node so this is how we are storing we are storing what what sparse matrix using what a uh, link list representation fine 